Hello, and welcome to the 2023 Artie Award nomination announcements. This is the 30 time we were, 32nd time yes. we will have done this. Well, me personally, you were barely born, but yeah. yeah. So for, for the WBFO's Facebook page, I'm Anthony Chase. And I'm Curtis Lavelle. Of Ujima Theater Company. Yes. And so um, we're going to announce the nominations uh, and tell you a, a few things about the Artie Awards. They're going to be on June the 5th, which is a Monday at 8 o'clock. And uh, that's at Shea's 710 Theater, mm -hmm. uh, where they have been uh, in recent years, other than that pandemic year. Yes. Yeah. You know, Try to play catch up. Uh, yeah, well, I think we're, we're finally caught up. Yeah, we I did think it. We we're, did it. we're finally back, mm -hmm. back on good. our rhythm. Mm -hmm. The charity, again, is the uh, Immunodeficiency Clinic at ECMC. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, Buffalo Toronto Public Media is our sponsor. And uh, I, I see on the website with some participation from Shaw Festival, which is uh, exciting. awfully nice. I pre pre awesome. appreciate that <laughs> from you. And uh, so big news off the top. Um, we're on, we'll announce to you for the first time the Career Achievement Awards for this year. And there are two. And the first is Lorraine O'Donnell. Lorraine O'Donnell, the newly retired Executive Artistic Director of Kavanoke Theater with a long and distinguished uh, career, which continues. This is not lifetime achievement. This is career achievement. Yes. So Lorraine O'Donnell, career achievement recipient uh, one. And the second, Buffalo's own Michelle Ragusa, mm. who went from uh, Buffalo, f from Niagara University, on to a successful career on Broadway throughout the nation in the theater. And will have done Hello, Dolly, with, fr with uh, starring Buffalo just that weekend, is lingering to be with us for this event. Oh, wow. Cool, right? Beautiful. Very nice. And the Catherine Cornell Award winner will be for his performance in Thurgood. And this, the Catherine Cornell goes to a visiting artist from somewhere else who enriches our theater season. Mm. And that goes to Brian Marable, mm. who did the show with the Irish Classical Theater Company. So what's been happening with you, Curtis? Oh, you know, good old-fashioned Ujima production work. I'm doing, I'm directing uh, Colored Water at Ujima, and it opens May 12th, runs until the 28th. <laughs> so you can see it before the Arties, but it will be, will be, that'll be included in next year's Artie consideration. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We're excited. So, um, oh, something else new this year, and you know, I'll do a bit, a bit of powder to give people time to click in and have their computer adjusted so mm -hmm. not, not everybody is equally adept at this. Mm -hmm. But uh, some of you may know that I was not actually physically present at the Arties last year. Oh, we missed you. Yeah, thank you. I would rather have been there mm. than, where I, than where I was, which was in the emergency room. Um, mm. Mm. But uh, I am told that um, Latecomers were an issue last year. Yes. 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 Like twelve presenters not present, and when the when the show went up, um, I know. Well, there's a nice reason for this. A lot of theaters do their own pre arty party. Right. And uh, whereas in the old days in Flynn's, Marie would kick you out at seven thirty. <laughs> the, 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 these parties keep going, and right. um, a couple of things about that. We need people on time. Mm. So we've come up with the idea, the admission to the Arties is still $20 for on-time admission. Uh-oh. But if you're late, <laughs> you have the privilege of do donating another 10 to the Immunodeficiency Clinic at Erie, at Erie, Erie. so just be on time. Yes. And uh, something to motivate you is, did, I don't know if people realize that Shays, the night of the Arties, that lovely bar, Bobby and her staff, mm. a percentage of that is donated to our charity. And see, I didn't know that. That's yeah, beautiful to know. That's nice that to know, things, right? Yeah. Yeah, it even makes the price bearable, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so, so that's new this year. Just you know, everything else will be the same. The the the, the red carpet. The oh, we'll close the red carpet down, but slightly before eight o'clock. So mm. don't think you can come here at eight o five and still get your photo taken and up online. But uh, all of that. But other than that, the same joyful thing. And enjoy your party. Just leave it and come on time. Yes, come see us. Come see us. <laughs> Well, um, I'm looking down at my little notes. I think that we've covered it. Shall we? Let's get to it. You probably would like us to get to it. <laughs> would you, why don't you take the first one? No problem. Okay. Outstanding production of a play, Burst, Alleyway Theater, Guards at the Taj, Road Less Traveled Productions, Murder on the Orient Express, All for One, Mysterious Circumstances, Road Less Traveled Productions, People, Places, and Things, Duville Cavanoke Theater, and Tony Stone, Ujima Theater Company. Oh, one for you guys. Hey. <laughs> That's pretty nice. Yeah. yeah. All right. Just 
I'll do, do a little delay for those of you who are writing down, but this will be available online when, yes. we, when we have finished, so yes. don't, don't feel compelled to write everything. Mm -hmm. Outstanding production of a musical, The Addams Family, O'Connell and Company, Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder, mm. Musical Fair, Nice Work If You Can Get It, Musical Fair, Once on This Island, Shays, Rock of Ages, Duville Cavanoke Theater, and The Secret Garden, Second Generation Theater. Mm. Outstanding Ensemble of a Play, Choir Boy, Ujima Theater Company, The Chosen, Jewish Repertory Theater, Mediocre Heterosexual Sex, BUA, People, Places, and Things, Duville Cavanoke Theater, Sweat, Road Less Traveled Productions, and Tony Stone, Ujima Theater Company. Mm. You guys have been busy. I know. I know. Look at us. <laughs> Outstanding Ensemble of a Musical, Disaster, Musical Fair. A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder, Musical Fair. Cragtar, The American Monster Musical, <laughs> Alleyway. Nice Work If You Can Get It, Musical Fair. Rock of Ages, Duville Cavanoke Theater. And Wicket, O'Connell and Company. That was, that was Ensemble of a Musical. Outstanding Direction of a Musical. Naila Ansari, Once on This Island. Chris Handley, Cragtar, The American Monster Musical. Chris Kelly, Nice Work If You Can Get It, Lynn Curtzio Formato, Rock of Ages, Michael Oliver Walling, The Secret Garden, Doug Wyand, A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder. Oh, look, typo. Got to get that. Ooh. We'll fix that before mm -hmm. Michael ever sees. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Outstanding Design of a Play, Robin Lee Horn, The Aleph Complex, John Hurley, Mysterious Circumstances, Philip Nurzer and Curtis Lavelle, that's you, yes. Tony Stone. <laughs> Kyle Locanti, Murder on the Orient Express, Katie Mallinson, Guards at the Taj, and Lorraine O'Donnell, Network. That was Outstanding Direction of a Play. Outstanding Choreography, Naila Ansari, Once on this Island, Joey, Joey Buhecker, The Rink, Christy E. Cavanaugh, Nice Work If You Can Get It, Lynn Kurtzio Formato, Rock of Ages, Kevin Leary, Cragtar, The American Monster Musical, <laughs> and Michael Oliver Walling, The Secret Garden. Oh, we spelled his name right that time. Yes. That's good. <laughs> Go, Michael. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's choreography. Outs this is Outstanding Leading Actor in a Musical. Ready. Louis Koliakovo, The Secret Garden. Mm -hmm. John Kazarowski, They're Playing Our Song. Ricky Needham, Rock of Ages. Gerald Ramsey, Spunk. Joe Rusi, Cabaret. Mark Sacco, Nice Work If You Can Get It. Outstanding Leading Actor in a Play, Christian Brangis, Murder on the Orient Express, Brian Brown, Choir Boy, Kevin Craig, Every Brilliant Thing, Jack Hunter, Tuesdays with Maury, Stan Klemeko? Yep. The Onion Game, Matt Rittler, Gentleman Caller. Outstanding Actress in a Musical, Leah Burst, Tell Me on a Sunday, Cassie Cameron, Cabaret, Kelly Copps, Disaster, Sam Crystal, Wicket, Mary Coppola Jurich, The Rink, and Amy Jekyll, Craig Tar, The American Monster, Monster Musical. <laughs> Outstanding Leading Actress in a Play, Tracy Lane, Burst, Alex Malaise, People, Places, and Things, Gabriella McKinley, Tony Stone, Victoria Perez, Islania, Steph Stephanie Warneck, Mediocre Heterosexual Sex, and Priscilla Young, Anne. The Emanuel Fried Award for New Play. You knew Manny, right? Yes. Okay. Just as I get older, it's reassuring. <laughs> you remember Manny, right? Yes. This is out for New Play. Vincent DiStefano, Stef Brace for Impact. Justin Karcher, The Birth of Santa, Matthew Lacusa, Paradigm Bomb, Maria Perez Gomez and Victoria Perez, Isleña, and Jay Snodgrass, Rust and Redemption. New plays. Mm. Outstanding set design, Diane Burlingame, mm -hmm. Mysterious Circumstances, Chris Cavanaugh, A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder, David King, Misery, Lynn Koshelnik, Murder on the Orient Express, Lynn Koshelnik, The Aleph Complex, and Colin Ranney, Burst. Outstanding Technical Element. Chris Bartolomeo, Makeup Design for the Adams Family. Brian Cavanaugh, 
Lighting for Murder on the Orient Express. Chris Cavanaugh, Trick Creation for the Play That Goes Wrong. Michelle Costa, Puppets for Snowy Day. Brian Milbrand, Video Design for Network. And John Rickus, Lighting for Mysterious Circumstances. Outstanding Costume Design. Jenna Damberger, A Midsummer Night's Dream. Felicia Dove, Once on This Island. Carrie Drozd, Z Disaster. J Timmy Goodman, Clue on Stage. Jimmy Janowski, B.B. Bulgari, Alley of the Dolls. And Andrea Letcher, Rock of Ages. Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Musical. Anthony Alcacer for Rock of Ages. John Kazarowski for Nice Work If You Can Get It, Nick Lama for The Rink, John May for The Sound of Music, Dan Ertz for Rock of Ages, and Brandon Williamson for Spunk. <laughs> I think that was the red suit that got him there. Yes, and that gold tooth. Oh, the gold tooth. <laughs> yeah. Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Play, Anthony Alcacer, Murder on the Orient Express, Brian Brown, Tony Stone, Christopher... Well met. Well met, thank you. Okay. Network, Tom Lachlan, A Midsummer Night's Dream, David Mitchell for Sweat, and Richard Satterwhite, Magnolia Ballet. He'll appreciate the Lachlan, you got that? You know I tried. Yeah, okay. <laughs> he doesn't get that every time. <laughs> Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Play, Wendy Hall for Mysterious Circumstances, Brooke Gorgon for Rust and Redemption, Lisa Ludwig for Murder on the Orient Express, Blaze Mercedes for Mediocre Heterosexual Sex, Christine Turturro for Burst, Rachel Jameson for Church and State. <laughs> Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Musical, Marissa Biondalillo, Wicket, Charmaine Chi, Nice Work If You Can Get It, Aaron Lee Dandis, Disaster, Amanda Funicello, you yes. Okay, Amanda Funicello, Craig Tar, the, the American, American Monster, Monster Musical, Musical. <laughs> Latasha Jennings, Once on This Island, and Madeline Teal, The Addams Family. And the final category, mm -hmm. which is Outstanding Featured Performance, which was years ago called Character Performance. Mm. But they are Jeremy Cruiser for Craig Tar, The American and Monster, Monster Musical, Musical. <laughs> Gregory Jurich for Murder on the Orient Express. Renee Landrigan for Alley of the Dolls, Pamela Rose Mangus for The May, Philip Wankenfuss, is that, check that, mm -hmm. but for A Midsummer Night's Dream, the spelling, <laughs> and Emily Yancey for Disaster, and those are the 2023 Artie Award nominations. nominations. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. You can find these online I can at WBFO Facebook page mm -hmm. and the Buffalo T Toronto Public Media YouTube channel where I assume you can watch this again and again. Tickets are not yet available, but um, information will be available. Remember, on-time admission is still just 20 bucks. <laughs> so uh, thank you, and we'll see you June the 5th. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>